WXII, Channel 12, Winston-Salem, Greensboro, High Point. And now, Rick Emmy, Denise Franklin, Cameron Kent on sports, and meteorologist Paul Delegato with weather. This is the Channel 12 News 6 o'clock report. Good evening. A Piedmont animal shelter that has been under fire for mistreating its animals is reeling from a new set of charges tonight. And in just a few moments, Rick will have an exclusive report on charges that a shelter employee used a hammer to beat an unwanted pet to death. But first, a different kind of shock wave. The president and chief executive officer of Piedmont Airlines has stepped down. We have a series of live reports on Bill Howard's resignation, beginning with Marianne Shaboy at Piedmont headquarters. Marianne. Today's announcement marks the end of weeks of rumor and speculation about Bill Howard's future with Piedmont Airlines in the wake of the expected merger with U.S. Air. The official word here is the resignation, effective immediately, is accepted with regret. Bill Howard came to Piedmont from Eastern Airlines in 1978. That was the same year airline deregulation was enacted, and Piedmont, the smallest of 17 federally certified air carriers. Howard's first responsibility was to develop Piedmont's strategies for transition to total deregulation. Howard became president of the airlines in 1981 and just last year was named chairman of the board. During this interview last February, Howard explained the importance of monitoring the number of passengers on other air carriers. It gives us a great deal of insight into what's going on with our flights, with their flights, how, are, how we're balancing, uh, what progress we're making, making uh, or if we're losing ground, why. We attempted to talk to dozens of Piedmont employees about Howard's resignation today. The majority refused comment. One man, who wouldn't give his name, said the ship is sinking and the captain is the first to jump off. Another offered this speculation. Merger will cause, will not allow him to be the, you know, the top dog and, and Mr. Kalotny, of course, will be that. And so I don't think Mr. Howard is, will be able to be the role of a second underdog. I don't think he'll play that role very well. Well, it bothers me as a passenger because I think he's been a great example of progressive leadership in the airline industry. And since I rely heavily on Piedmont, I have relied on him and his leadership to provide better service. William McGee, a 40-year Piedmont employee, replaces Howard as president, CEO, and chairman of the board. McGee says he plans no major changes at Piedmont. We definitely plan to stay the course in terms of our quality of service to the consumer, to the customer, our quality of service to the communities we serve, and our continued growth rate of this company. McGee says his first project will be to deal with the expected merger, a move he says will make this airline the third largest passenger carrier in the United States. McGee also says it's fair to say that this airline will employ more people in this city after the merger is complete. Now, as for Bill Howard, he's already got a new job, and Craig Marbury is here with that story. Well, Howard is changing one chairmanship for another, but it's not quite an airline yet. Howard now heads the Airline Acquisition Corporation, a group of pilots from United Airlines that plans to buy United. The pilots group says Howard will lead their efforts to buy United Airlines, which is the largest carrier in the world. Howard will work with investment bankers to arrange the purchase. If he's successful, he'll stay on to head the new airline. The pilots group was formed four months ago. In April, it offered nearly $5 billion to buy United. But the airline's parent company, the Allegis Corporation, turned that offer down. The pilots group believes that Howard's management skills will bring them better luck. In fact, the head of the pilots group says Howard's distinguished career and his reputation for fairness among all employees at Piedmont bode well for the success of a new United under his leadership. If the buyout is successful, Howard will go from leading one of the nation's fastest growing airlines to the nation's largest. We have heard all kinds of speculation as to why Mr. Howard may have stepped down. Does either one of you have any clue as to what he's saying about it? Denise, Mr. Howard, uh, excuse me, Mr. Howard has been unavailable for comment today. However, late this afternoon, Mr. McGee told us that Mr. Howard is expected to issue a statement sometime soon. All right, thank you very much. Mary Angel Boy and Craig Marbury reporting live from Winston-Salem. Rick?